Hi, I'm Matt Pomeroy. I'm a 7th and 8th grade health and physical educator from Merton, Wisconsin, a suburb of Milwaukee. I'm coming from Round Lake Center, Ontario, uh, to tell you what the Phys Ed Summit means to me. Hey, I once was alone, but through online connections, then conferences, conventions, etc., people I met shared their passion for teaching and gave back to me on a daily basis through sharing their lessons, their units, their blogs, videos, and best teaching practices. This made me and helped me grow and learn to the educator I am today. Then the coolest part was I started. I started sharing, I started connecting, I started giving back to other people. People began to learn from me, all right? This cycle continues and I see it today and it continues to get bigger and bigger and onward the circle of influence continues to grow bigger and bigger. Right? We're making a huge difference right now in our profession. We've now reached across the globe. We're connected. We must continue to be a passionate PLN and give back, pay it forward online, at conferences, workshops, within our districts, at a state, regional, or national level. They're all extremely important. The Phys Ed Summit was our way, all right? The Phys Ed Summit's team. It's our way of giving back to the community that helped us grow, that changed who we were. All right, the presenters for the Phys Ed Summit volunteered their time to give back to you and help others on their climb to the top of their teaching summit. They're reaching out to our viewers and assisting them on their lifelong teaching journey. All right, we hope that those are participating and watching and interacting during the summit will continue to learn, grow, and develop professionally every day. All right, you will be the next big influence on our profession when you give back from the connections and learning that you make from the summit and hereafter. You will help others climb to their teaching summit when you give back and pay it forward uh, to other educators within our profession. With the Phys Ed Summit reaching across the globe and the circle of influence getting bigger because of passionate health and physical educators, our learning will continue spreading across the globe, through all countries, into the school districts and into each school. The movement continues. Our circle of influence is massive. Each teacher we affect will spread the passion and here comes the best part. It will make the lives of students across the globe better. It comes back to our passion for them. You being here and attending the summit helps kids win. Thanks to everyone who's made the summit possible. Hey everyone, my name is Colin Brooks and I'm an elementary physical education teacher from Bend, Oregon and a proud member of the Phys Ed Agogi and Phys Ed Summit crew. Uh, I just wanted to take a moment to tell you why I think the Phys Ed Summit is so important and what it means to me. So I really believe that the Phys Ed Summit removes barriers for us as professionals, as either physical education professionals or health professionals. So we know that um, going to a conference in person, nothing can um, replace that. However, the Phys Ed Summit removes barriers such as cost, travel, um, and other time commitments that you have. You can watch the Phys Ed Summit whenever you like. Maybe it's that you want to watch it during your prep time, or maybe it's that you want to watch it uh, right before you go to bed on your iPhone or your Android. So wherever, whatever time it is, wherever it is, you can access it. Hi, my name is Bill Bodie and I teach high school physical education at the Performance Learning Center in Charlotte, North Carolina. And why is the Phys Ed Summit important to me? Choices. In today's society, I'm given a ton of choices. And I like it that way. If I want to read, I can go find a book, pick up a magazine. If I want to watch TV, I have hundreds of channels to choose from. And of course, if I want to exercise, I can go to the gym, I can ride a bike, I can go to the park and play tennis. But how often do we sit in school trainings that is a one message for every teacher? PD and training should not be a one-size-fits-all message. In our district, and even in our schools, we serve such diverse groups of students that there's no way one-size-fits-all PD could benefit everybody. 
So, the Phys Ed Summit team set out to create PD that meets the needs of a wide variety of teachers. We wanted PD to become personal to fit your individual needs. We asked teachers what topics they were interested in and sought out other teachers willing to share their knowledge and experiences. PD for teachers by teachers on topics we're interested in and will further our growth as a physical educator. The topics for this Phys Ed Summit are tailored for all levels of teachers, no matter the age you teach. Fitness, technology, dance, student engagement, parent communication, and assessment are just a few of the topics you'll have access to during and after the Phys Ed Summit. So go through our conference program and find the sessions that you want to view. If they do not fit your time schedule, that's okay. All sessions will be archived on the Phys Ed Agogi YouTube channel. So, from the Phys Ed Summit team, thank you and hope that you have a great school year. The Phys Ed Summit is the most important and influential professional development I've ever had the chance to be a part of. Hi, my name is Jonathan Jones and I am a K-5 physical education teacher at Whitehall Elementary School in Bowie, Maryland, which is a suburb of Washington, D.C. I feel the Phys Ed Summit is important because it encourages a collaborative learning among the physical education community. I mean, in what other professional development situation could I sit at my desk right here in Maryland and view a presentation about student self-regulation from a teacher in Canada? Not only can I view the presentation, but I can also participate in a conversation with the presenter and other PE teachers through the back channel during the session, furthering my learning even more. I can also view any of the 24 hours of sessions, either live or afterwards on YouTube. But I realize that this means that the learning doesn't have to stop there. This event, these sessions, the interacting with the presenters and the other teachers can be used to create a professional learning community in your school, in your city, in your district. Professional learning communities are used to share ideas and strategies and to also offer help, all with the intention of improving student learning. With the Phys Ed Summit, the videos and resources provide easy access to discussion. It can be something as simple as sharing a session video with, with your colleagues and getting their thoughts on it. Something like, want to make more use of questioning in the PE? Check out Mel Hamada and Mark Williams' session on asking essential questions in physical education. So not only are you collaborating worldwide when you're participating in the Physics Summit, but those things that you have learned can be brought back to your district, back to your city, back to your school to influence your, your school community and your students. Collaboration is a highly effective tool to improving teaching practice, and I feel the Phys Ed Summit really encourages this model. Hi, my name is Sarah Gitchier Hartman and I'm a middle school physical educator in St. Louis, Missouri. I'm a proud member of the Phys Edagogy and Phys Ed Summit teams. I believe we are all pieces in a giant Phys Ed puzzle. Every piece fits in different ways. Each piece is a different shape and a different size. Every piece is needed in order to complete the puzzle. We're all valuable members of Team Phys Ed. We all have the ability to contribute something positive to the phys ed community. We all have an important role in defining how our subject is viewed by our communities, parents, administrators, colleagues, and most importantly, our students. 
Puzzles are put together one piece at a time. Some of us have had the opportunity to meet other members of the phys ed community. We travel to conventions, we visit each other's homes, we observe each other's teach. When we get together, we fit, we belong. The phys ed community is inclusive. When combined, our pieces make a picture that shows what quality physical education looks like. In our classrooms, sometimes we can't figure out how to put the pieces together. There are so many of them. We rearrange them on the table, turn them around, try new things. Sometimes we even ask another person for help. Can you help me put these pieces together, we ask. Aha, light bulb. So that's how you do it. If you try something new, if you change your ideas just a little bit, the pieces fit just right. The Phys Ed Summit gives us the opportunity to learn from health and physical educators from all over the world. It gives us a chance to put a face and a voice to the names that we recognize. The Phys Ed Summit helps many of us find the pieces that we've been missing. I feel incredibly lucky to be just one piece in this huge Phys Ed puzzle and to help share the Phys Ed Summit and everything it has to offer with the Phys Ed community. Hi everyone, my name is Naomi Hartle and I am a proud member of the Phys Edagogy and Phys Ed Summit team. I believe the Phys Ed Summit is part of the tipping point for global health and physical education. Malcolm Gladwell says, the tipping point is the point at which the momentum for change becomes unstoppable. Think of it like this. Think of a balance scale. The scale on your left holds all the ways we've traditionally viewed and done health and physical education. The scale on your right holds all the things that I've experienced in the past few years. And it holds global collaboration and global learning communities, global challenges from one school to another across the world, challenging each other to dance offs, crowdsourced resources, we have people from all over the world that are working on one document and adding their ideas to it, adding different instant activities to the instant activity document, adding team building and adventure ed challenges to another document, adding recipes to a phys ed cookbook so that we can all eat healthy. Teachers are blogging about what is going on in their classrooms, about different resources that they are using and sharing it with the world just to share. Global discussions are happening through social media. Whether you're using an app called Voxer, which is a walkie-talkie app where I can just go click and talk to somebody in Saudi Arabia, or using 140 characters on Twitter to have a conversation. People are using social media to talk about health and phys ed. And every piece I just mentioned is a small pebble that has been added to that scale making it heavier and heavier and heavier to the point where it is about to tip. Now, how are we going to make that scale tip? Well, that's where I believe the Phys Ed Summit comes in. The Phys Ed Summit reaches a, a wide variety of individuals from the comfort of their home. It changes the way we think about professional development and how it should happen. And it shifts our thinking and who's responsible for professional development and for who's responsible for participating in it. I challenge you to think about one last point. The Phys Ed Summit, I believe, is just part of that tipping point. But where can you take this? How can you help that scale tip further, where the momentum for change becomes unstoppable? How can you become a champion for change in your building, community, state, province, country, and in the world? Hi, my name is Adam Howell, and I am the founder of physedagogy.com and a proud member of the Phys Ed Summit team.
Today during my talk, I want to challenge your thinking. I want to stretch you, even if just for a little bit. And I want you to feel slightly uncomfortable because that's how we grow. I've heard passionate professionals refer to the Phys Ed Summit as the next big thing. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but what I can tell you is for the first time since I have been connecting online, I am part of a digital learning opportunity that not only brings teachers, administrators, and academics together, but it also unites major organizations in PHE Canada and Shape America, and it also removes barriers for teachers who are not currently connecting through social media. At this point in time, 33% of our over 1,000 RSVPs are from teachers who are not currently on Twitter. This is amazing, and it has created quite a bit of momentum in our profession. But I find myself asking the question, so what? Physical literacy, we know, is a journey. It's a journey throughout our lifetime. Well, teaching is a journey too, and it's a complex one at that. No, my hope is that the Phys Ed Summit is not the next big thing. Rather, it's just a moment in time in our physical education profession where things are just moving a little bit faster in trying to make what we all want, which is to have an excellent physical education teacher in front of every single child. Because we know research tells us the number one impact on student learning is the teacher. Now that's change that I can get on board with. In the United States, there is more pressure and high stakes accountability right now in education than there ever has been before. Measuring student learning and growth or student achievement has now become a percentage of our teacher evaluations. This requires of us that we not only know what we want our students to know, understand and be able to do, but equally important is we have to be able to answer the question, how will we know, what data will we have that shows our students have learned? This is not bad, but it requires us to swallow our pride, separate teaching practices from us, the person, the teacher, and to put a mirror on those practices. There will never be perfection in teaching. It's just way too darn complex of a profession. But there are certainly areas where we are effective. There are areas where we need to grow. And there are areas where we are highly effective, or we may even excel in these areas. But we have to be okay with the fact that these areas where we excel are merely ones that we visit sometimes, but we often will not permanently live there because the nature of what we do is just too complex and we have to be okay with that. At the core, the Phys Ed Summit is about professional learning, improving our practices. As our logo says, professional development, growth, and learning journey. All of our personalized learning journeys are very different, but as you are learning and watching Phys Ed Summit sessions over the next 24 hours, you need to be asking yourself one question. How will I know that student learning outcomes will have improved as a result? In other words, what is my evidence of impact? What is the Phys Ed Summit's evidence of impact? What data do I have that shows that my students are more confident and more competent as a result? Based on the information that I have at any given time, I should be able to make at least draw some general conclusions on these questions. What evidence do I have that I am taking what I have learned and I am embedding that into my teaching toolkit, into my practices? And then we need to take it a step further and we need to make that information, we need to make that evidence visible with our community of learners. When we can do that and we can make things public, that will make all of these global collaboration attempts, not only will it validate them, but it will make them more meaningful and it will certainly make them sustainable. I hope you enjoy your time watching 24 straight hours of physical education, professional development at the Phys Ed Summit 3.0. Slam.